Hey, it's Jared with Backwoods Animation, and today I'm gonna show you how to create this awesome smoke effect. I'm gonna create two different outcomes using the exact same effect. So let's get into it and see how I created this. So go to Composition, New Composition. I'm gonna call this one Smoke, because we're making smoke. And you can leave the width and height to 1080 by 1920. I'm gonna change the duration to about 10 seconds. It's all you need, unless you have very long smoke scenes. The next, you're gonna grab your pen tool, and we're gonna create this really flat dome, almost like a speed bump. And make sure that that dome is at the very bottom of your composition, not in the middle or the top, but the very bottom. And select it, and we're gonna add a little effect. So at layer styles, we'll go to inner shadow. Uh, and then here you can create whatever color you want, but go normal, increase your opacity to 100, and set that color to whatever, whatever suits your fancy. I'm going for this kind of fiery purple. Um, and then increase your distance and you know set it up however you want. This just creates a nice little stroke to it, so you can, if you have layers, you can differentiate and it gives that that flat look. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating a wave warp. So with your shape layer selected, go to Effect, Distort, and at the very bottom, Wave Warp. And it creates this snake-like looking creature, which is kind of cool, but not what we're going for. So on the Wave Warp, we're gonna change it to Circle, and then we're going to increase the, the height to 225 and the width to, oh wait, now the height to 135 and the width to 225. That's what it is. And direction, we're going to go to 70. Wave speed, I'm going to go to negative 0.4. And then we're going to pin horizontal edges. And now we're starting to get that cool effect, like it's actually bubbling in. So it's looking good. Next, we got to duplicate it, so now we have two wave warps on top of the same shape layer. But this one is gonna be a semicircle. And we're gonna adjust the wave height and width to 45 and uh, 25. And that looks odd. So I gotta change something, what was it? Oh, the width the width actually needs to be 220 or 250. That's what it was. There it is. All right, now we're starting to get a little differentiate. I'm gonna change the speed. I'll make this one a little bit faster. So 0 0.6, there we go. It's starting to roll over the first effect. So that's looking pretty good. Next, we duplicate that wave warp again. So now there's three. This one we're gonna to change to 90. We're gonna change the width to 540, leave it at 70, and then we're gonna change the speed to negative 0.2. All right, now we're starting to get some cool looking stuff. Um, oh, there's one thing, change it to a circle, not a semicircle. Okay, now we're getting some cool billowing effects. Okay, that is what we're trying to achieve. Now we can kind of adjust it a little bit if you want, it'll flatten it out. The higher up you go, the more pronounced your, your deformation is gonna be. So you might not wanna go too big with your shape. Um, but then the final thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create Excuse me, we're going to create a turbulent displace. And now in this turbulent displace, the settings are going to be 25, 35 for size. Leave the complexity at 1, and then alt click your, your stopwatch on evolution. And then we're going to do time asterisk 80. And that'll just, um, that'll keep the evolution going on your your um, your turbulent displace. So next, now we have one that looks good, we're just gonna duplicate it. 
All right, and you can kind of move the, the next one around a little bit. You can see as you push it up, it starts to break a little bit. Um, so just get it in a position that you think looks the best. There's gonna be some other stuff that we do to it that really makes it look different. Um, so one way you can do it is you can change the width and the height uh, and start to make them all look different. Or an easy way to do it uh, is just to come right down here to phase and then adjust your phase and it's just gonna move it over. All right, so that's gonna look really good. Uh, so that's the way that I recommend it. If you have multiple layers, just adjust the phase. Don't worry about height and width. So the next, you're gonna duplicate that again. Now we're just going to adjust the phase, just like we did before. So we're gonna to start to offset some things so it just gives it depth to the scene. And now we have a really cool smoke effect. It's billowing. Um, and if you need your smoke to go the opposite direction, obviously instead of having negative speeds, just go positive speeds. But my wind is blowing this way, so that's what you get. Next, we are gonna create from the same shapes and the same effects, a much different outcome. So this is pretty cool. So you're just gonna grab all your layers uh, or at least try, okay. Maybe I'll just shift and move up. Anyway, so grab your layers and move them to the center of your frame. So now they're in the middle and you're getting all this weird looking stuff and we're gonna use that to our advantage. It's gonna re be really cool. We're gonna create this kind of like smoke effect that rises up. So next take your shape layer and we're gonna go for this kind of, uh, I don't know, what, what shape is that? I don't know what shape that is. That's a shape that I have no name for. But make a shape that kind of tapers off at one side so it comes to a really fine point. All right, and you can already see we're starting to get that cool rising smoke effect. Now you can stop at one or you can move on and have several of these kind of going like it's a big smoldering fiery scene. Um, I'm gonna shrink these down to give some more depth to the scene. There we go. And yeah, that looks really good. Maybe I'll move it over a little bit. And then I'll do the same for the third shape layer. I'm just gonna adjust this one the same exact way. You wanna get that nice taper at the end. My favorite part of these smoke trails is the very tip of the, the smoke trail. Just kind of how it like meanders around. I just think it's so cool looking. All right, and so now that you have all your little different smoke things, what you can do is you can import this composition into another comp and you just mask off the bottom so we won't see how the smoke is being deformed um, and you don't see how it breaks, right? So we're just gonna be seeing the cool smoke effect as is. Uh, and then you just rotate it and scale it for however you need. I'm gonna scale it down a little bit and I'm gonna hide that bottom again so we don't see it break. And there you have it guys. Some really cool smoke effects that are very simple to do. And my favorite part is it's all in After Effects. There's no plugins outside of After Effects. Um, have fun with this, guys. I hope you guys can come up with something really cool. Play with the settings, play with the speeds and all that. And, um, you know, you could add this to hair or clothes or have like a cool underwater scene. Anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, comment, ask questions. Thanks.